So you want to actually start making money online by putting ads on your websites and your applications. In this video, I'm going to tell you what exactly is it that you need. And I'm going to show you what mistake did this developer make and why he hasn't been approved by Google AdSense. Okay, so I received the email and this is the email that I got, right? It's a much longer email, but I copy the, the things that was related to this video. Okay, just for you guys. So it says, hi, I'm a huge fan of yours and I'm so thankful for all the guidance you have given the community for people wanting to change their lives. I love your tutorials and I have full access to your subscription. Okay, I have created a new website this weekend, pushed it to production late last night and set up a Google AdSense account, but it got denied because Google says, my site has no content. My site is a responsive web calculator for a video game called Marvel Contest of Champions. I really think I could get a lot of traffic because tons of people play this game. I was hoping you could please review my website and give me any feedback on what you think my account may have been denied because I think my site does have content. I have content. What's going on? All right, guys, <laughs> listen, for you to get approved by Google AdSense, you actually got to go through the process of having a human being going over your website. Back in the days, it used to be automated. If you would have started in 2004, 2007, around there, or even earlier, when it first just started, then you would have been approved automatically, no matter what, right? Basically, back then, they were approving every single person. But then what happened was that people used to be gaming the systems. People would come in and buy a domain and be like, let's say the Marvel, or uh, I don't know, Marvel Infinity movie is about to come out. People would go ahead and buy uh, a $10,000 domain called MarvelInfinity.com. And then they would put in a whole bunch of advertising on that page and just put in like five pictures of posters also two people will scheme it so for example let's say google wants to put advertising on your website if they want to put advertising on your website what what happens is they crawl over your your website and they look at whatever type of text that was there so if you had car insurance if you had a lawyer if you had a doctor's office whatever type of text that was in there that's the type of advertising that it was shown there so People will game the system by buying a domain that was really popular and then putting in different type of content than what people wanted to see when they landed on that page. So let's say, for example, you got MarvelInfinity.com. Back in the day, somebody will put in all this car insurance text at the bottom and then Google will say, oh, oh this website's about car insurance, even though when the person went there, they're looking for Marvel Infinity, they will get advertising from car insurance which actually cost $25 per uh, click so whoever owned it made a lot of money but at the same time those companies were losing money because they were basically advertising on the wrong websites okay so now Google what they do is they actually have a human being come in probably from India from Philippines from Zimbabwe from somewhere in the world right and have them go in website by website that applies to google adsense and they go over the website and look at what type of content is in there okay when somebody came here most likely they looked at this and say a calculator what's this a calculator you know what i mean with a soldier voice boy <laughs> soldier boy voice right he's like calculator right what is this right <laughs> right so most likely that's what they they said they say you know what denied right Plus, your website has not been online long enough, okay? So you could have this website, and a week from now, if they was to approve you, you could go ahead and change it to something completely different. And then now, Google looks stupid because they approved you, okay? So that would be a problem. Also, too, like I said, you don't have an about page. Uh, you also don't have, like, a sitemap. You got to have a sitemap. If you guys have ever uh, searched for... Google Webmasters Tools. Search for that, right? And that will go to google.com slash slash webmasters. And then come in, 
sign in and when you sign in if you have a sitemap a sitemap is an xml file that has all of your pages okay and this helps google know hey these are the pages that this website has if you have thousands of file or thousands of files or thousands of pages on your website you will have a huge sitemap you know for a website simple like codingface.com it is only 32 pages okay for you guys too that are doing this definitely look into this google webmasters okay um but yeah so going back to mcoc uh, website you need to have a sitemap okay you need to have your name attached to this okay so in your about page even if you put it at the bottom you want to put in your full name you want to say hi this is john smith uh, i'm a huge fan of marvel universe and i created this website because we want to uh, provide people with a preview of what happens when uh you know they use this generator okay i don't know how to use it i guess it shows something here um but you know the guys that play this game they understand this thing okay uh, so yeah, definitely have a, a, a title, have a menu, make it a real website. Like this looks like, like I just landed here and I don't even know what is this. You want to make sure that whoever visits this website, they know what it is. Okay. My advice would be instead of putting the calculator here on the front, create a landing page create a landing page this is a product for you okay this is where you sell to the person like why they should choose this page um over any other mcoc donation calculator so you want to be able to say uh hey guys find out uh you know how much you're gonna pay per week or whatever it is right create a couple of sections create a, a landing page okay and then click uh, click a button here where you go in and it takes you to the calculator. Don't just give them the calculator as soon as you land here. Okay. The website itself should not be the calculator. The website should be uh, the landing page should be a, like a full website. You know what I mean? Like when have you gone to a website where automatically you get a calculator? Even if you search for CSS generator, right? Uh, most websites, if you go to HTMLCSSJS.com, you'll see that there's more to it, okay? This is acmlcss.com, right? The guy has a, a whole bunch of different cheat sheets and, and generators and things that he has, but the generator itself is inside of CSS slash generator, okay? It just, it makes your website uh, better. It has more content, you know, and even creating little things like that. You see, like, he has the Facebook comment where people can come in and put in a comment like little things like that and look he even has a blog not because he wants to write a blog but because at the end of the day when you have a blog it creates content for google to be able to um give your website some weight so it could look like a real website it doesn't look like a scheme uh, type website or a website that you're just trying to make money from Okay, you want to make it a real website. And that's why I feel like your website did not get approved because it just doesn't have those things. Okay, it definitely does not have that. It just gives you, to me, it gives me the feeling of like, okay, this is just like a calculator, but what the hell is this? Like, you don't even have no information about Marvel. It's okay to use Marvel characters in your website. Okay. It's okay you can do that as long as you're not selling anything you're not selling those products or selling those characters it's fine this is like a, a fan page so this fan page you want to make it with marvel characters you want this to look uh fun and, and cool like a gaming type of website okay and then at the same time solve somebody's problem by giving them this calculator okay but you gotta build a website around whatever is it that you're trying to solve okay that's the best way to get approved this needs to be a real website i think that this thing can actually get a lot of views and a, a lot of uh good clicks because i googled on youtube i don't know if this is the one uh because you said what was the name of it you said the game's name is marvel contest 
of champions. So there's definitely content on this where you could even take a blog, create your own blog and, and put in there uh, things like this where you say, OK, um, I'm going to come in and, and, and create a, a top 10 list, top 10 YouTubers with, you know, four Marvel contests of champions. OK, you could do something like that. Right. Or create like the best combination of Marvel characters for Marvel contests of champions. Like I've never heard of this game. Like this is the first time that I'm actually hearing of this. So <laughs> I don't know. This is my first time hearing about this game. But since a lot of people play it and it seems like a lot of people play it make sure you just you add the characters like create a design create a website for it okay or even at the website look what what they have on the official website of marvel contest of champions okay look how the website looks create something similar to this okay because you want to have something that people feel like oh this is part of you know the official website of contest of champions right like even though your website is not an official one if you make it seem like it's an official website more people are going to actually um click it and, and stay there because it looks more legit right for me looking at this website i'm just like uh, what the hell is this thing i don't even know what is this right you need more information you need your name in here you need your email that you're applying to Google AdSense with and yeah and you will get approved okay guys now I do want to give you your props I want to give you your kudos for starting to build applications putting it online and trying to get this bread okay also too you know another way that you could also get some money is sign up to Amazon right sign up to Amazon so even on your blog you could add to your blog some links to let's say uh amazon so let's see amazon and then you could come here and get different characters so you could say something like uh wolverine wolverine let's say action figure right and you could actually put this on on your website and create a link to an affiliate link to this and get paid for that okay because all the people that's going to be going to this website you can monetize that because they're all going to be building uh, or playing that game right which is all about marvel so whoever is like the top characters in, in that game try to get the action figures and people will buy it there's a lot of fans out there there's a lot of little kids out there that says hey you know what i want to put this on on my shelf right that's 31 dollars right let's say for example this one this one's 71 dollars right this one's 71 dollars that was pretty legit that looks dope even i will have that in my house okay so let's say for example seven or uh, 71 dollars times 0.3 so let's say 71 times point let's say four times point four right Hold on, 70, no, it's $71 time, 0.04%, right? So that's like $2.84 uh, that you will get. So for every action figure that you sell for $71, you get back out of this 0 0.04, which is $2.84, okay? And you might think like, hey, man, that's nothing. But thousands of people coming in you know there's a three percent conversion rate on anything that you put on your website doesn't matter what it is that you have there's a three percent conversion rate no matter what no matter what you have <laughs> you could be selling car parts you could be selling bicycles you could be selling scissors glasses whatever you sell whoever lands on your website three percent right three percent to a seven percent are going to buy into your website right or whatever product you might have so let's say for example you have let's say 
let's say starting right per month per month right per month you have 50,000 unique visitors right then you say times 0 0.03 okay that's 1500 right and then from there you say times 2.84 so you have an opportunity to make four thousand two hundred and sixty dollars per month if you get fifty thousand unique visitors and you have a product that's very good that people want okay and that's just how it is <laughs> you know what i mean like that's just being honest with you okay you could come here and make like four thousand dollars okay it's that simple some people might think like oh this is more difficult this isn't that no guys just find a niche that you're into build an application build a website okay and then from there uh serve those users the things that they want to okay so yeah man it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com i hope you guys like this type of content if you like this type of content uh leave me a message on the comment section okay and just let the people know hey i'm actually just just go in there and say i'm interested right you don't have to put in anything else i know a lot of times people come in and, and, and they look at my videos and don't even comment come in comment guys leave a comment give a like and just go in and say i'm interested you don't have to say anything else that's it all right so i'm gonna see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com your boy is back and i done did it again